Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to try to do something that I've tried to do once before and wasn't quite successful. So we're going to do a bit of pine needle weaving. So this was my, as far as I got on my first attempt, you can see it's kind of loose um, and it was going to be a bowl and obviously it's not. So I tried to do this right before Christmas and I just had too many things going and you have to do it while the needles are fresh and moist and they just dried out and I never got back to it. So we're going to try to do that again today. Uh, luckily for me, even though I live where there's pine trees everywhere, collecting pine needles that are old and dry can be kind of annoying. But uh, when we moved here, I realized the people had left this giant bag of dry pine needles. Now, I'm not sure why they collected them or why they left them here, but that's a benefit for me. So I'm gonna fill my pan up with pine needles and then we'll get on to step one. There's probably also spiders in here. So I'm gonna try to do this carefully. And this is a pan that I reserve for projects like this. It's not one of my pans in my regular cooking rotation. That should be enough. So I've got my water in my pan with my needles and then we're just gonna pop the lid on and simmer that for mm, 15 to 20 minutes, just long enough to get the needles nice and tender and pliable. So this has been simmering for about 15 minutes and then I turn the burner off and I've been letting it cool for about 10 minutes it's still pretty warm, but I can tell these needles are nice and bendy. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and then let them sit until they're cool enough to work with and then we can move on. Once they're cool enough to touch, you have to go through and take those little gross bits at the end and you have to remove them all. And you can do that at the beginning and just get it all out of the way or as you can do it as you're working, but either way they need to be gone. So for the next part, you're going to need a piece of straw or something that you can stick your pine needles through and you're just going to stuff them through here until it's a semi-tight fit. You want to still be able to slide your pine needles around, but you want it to be a somewhat tight fit and if you can have them all facing the same direction with the little stem that you just cut off facing the same way, that is ideal. So once they're in, you're gonna kind of line them up at the back here. And then this time I'm using embroidery floss. Last time I just used thread and I don't think it held it tight enough. She used like a wax, wax thread, but I don't have any of that. So we're just gonna use embroidery th floss and you're going to take it and just start wrapping it around until you have a nice thick line of it and then you are going to bend it in half like that you put your needle on the end and then you're gonna sew across back and forth until you have this whole end sewed together then you're going to go ahead and cut off the tail of your needles. Then I'm going to put my straw back on here because my needles are getting short and I need to add some more needles in. And then as you go, you just continue to add your needles in. And now I'm going to keep winding this cord up wrapping it around and then when you get up high enough that you can twist it and fold it like that then you take your needle and you come back up through what you've already sewed and sometimes it's difficult and you pull it tight so you're essentially sewing it to itself. Now once you have a nice little base going, then you can start 
going up higher around your needles. You don't have to wrap it so tight. You can go up, leave a little space, sew through. several videos on how to do this and all of them had different ways that you can attach your string when you need new string and I'm just going ahead and tying the end of my old string to my new string and that seems to be working out just fine and then I go ahead and trim off those little edges This is where I'm at. Uh, it's not perfect. My stitches don't line up amazing, but I'm kind of proud of it. It's a very forgiving project. There's a lot of my pine needles that you can see are sticking out that we can trim up at the end, but I've made a lot of mistakes and really considering it doesn't look that bad. So right now it's just flat. I think what I'm gonna try to do is maybe build up the sides and make it like a little bowl. So I'm gonna start looping the pine needles up on this layer and see if I can make maybe a little bowl out of it. So here is the final product. Not too bad for a, I guess technically it's my second try. You can see I messed up a little bit right there but it's a little bit uneven at the top, um, a little bit crooked, but really, I think overall it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, so now I just have to find somewhere for it to go and something to put in it, but uh, I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed watching me try this new project out, so thanks for watching.